Welcome back to Enshrouded. So in between episodes, I was running around and doing a little bit of just adventuring, trying to get a little bit of XP here and there, do some mining, do some just random gathering of materials, and we kind of ran into a little bit of a problem. Right there on that hill, I got completely wrecked by a big boss. I wish I was recording it, because our, our first reaction was pretty incredible. I got absolutely wrecked by this thing. It's another one of the big bosses. We're going to go take this guy on real quick, and then we're going to venture around this area and knock out as many of the mission things that are in this area as possible. There's a few different ones to include a couple really difficult ones, one of those being the... Uh, table saw thing I think it is and then there should be another shroud root over here too which I did beat in the past but I want to go take it out again and see you guys are telling me that I get more XP from it now this guy I don't know I shot him with an arrow just to see how much damage it did it did not do a lot so I don't know we can see yeah it doesn't do a lot well the headshot doesn't do too bad I also kind of wanted to see if he would come down the hill <laughs> here he comes I want to see if he'll do it Okay, he won't come down. Maybe. Okay. I kind of just kind of give it a second. A lot of these bad guys you can cheese, so I'm hoping we can do that with this guy. Oh, his back does not work. There he comes. There he comes. Oh, he was coming. <laughs> yeah, he definitely wants me to go up there. I definitely don't want to go up there, so we're going to not go up there. Kind of cheesy. I know it's not the ideal way to fight these guys, but our goal is to defeat them, right? Oh, man, he came close. Yep, do your growl. Yeah, 107 when I hit him in the head. I would really like to get close and do some attacking, so I'm not using all my arrows, but... Whoa. <laughs> oh! Oh, he got a little further down. Okay. Yes, he kind of like goes a little weird when he gets down here because he's not supposed to leave that area. They don't want this guy wandering, obviously. There you go. Hit him with those headshots. There you go. Almost done. Come on. Finish that dude off. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Complete the quest. Do I get anything from you? Loot. We got a VUCA brawler head and a scorching one. Sweet. Oh, wow. Did he wreck all these other guys up here? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Those guys are not a problem anymore. Let's search that guy. Let's search the area real quick. I think we get one of the blessings over here. And then we'll go hit up the shroud route. And then we'll try to do some missions. There we got 30 minutes. Oh, you know what I did? Oh, my God. I got all the stuff. I just forgot to do the food. So we didn't even have a food buff there. My bad. We also have a couple skill points that we can spend. We'll do that in just a second. Let me drink, drink and eat. So inside here, skills, we were looking through here at what we can put it into. We're kind of going ranger and maybe a little bit into assassin. There's some other things I want to do as well, but I really want to get a couple of these. The updraft would be nice, but I'm thinking maybe to go up into assassin a little bit because there's a couple up here that give you a nice range percentage. So we're probably going to do that as well. So let's start going in that. Increase range damage by 5% per attribute point. Unlock. Okay. This one here, gliders, 30% less stamina, definitely. Updraft, pressing the jump button while gliding will give you a small height boost. Nice. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Okay, so we'll do this. Endurance. We'll wait on that. This one is silent stride. Increase your movement speed while sneaking. We'll wait on that. And then we got this one way up here that's five points. We really want that eventually. 15% to range. I think we'll stick with that. Let's wait until we get some more skill points. Otherwise, we're doing pretty good. Character-wise, we're up to level 10. And our attributes are starting to look pretty cool. So I really love all the this attribute page, all the different things in here. We're about to hit level 11, too. All right. Let me make sure there's no treasure or anything up here that we need to grab. And then... Oh, God, bud. And then we will head over to the shroud route. So let's see if we got anything cool up here. Okay, there is land. <laughs> that was a full-on leap of faith. Not a smart idea, but it was worth it. Okay, we can make our way up here. There we go. All right, we got a couple friends down here. Let's do it. Level nine, okay. <laughs> let's switch to the wand. Hold on. Hold on, let's go wand. Get it. Ow. Ow, why are we not blocking? Come on, man. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's just get some shots in. 
We've got pretty decent range damage, so we really want to take advantage of that. Oh my god, not if that happens. There you go, he's almost done. Okay, he's almost done. We got him. This is not how I like to fight for sure. Oh. There you go. You're about to have stamina problem. Hold on. Stam up, stam up, stam up, stam up. Okay. There you go. We're almost done. That did not work at all. Oh, come on. Got him. Got him. Woo. Wasted an arrow. It's okay. Okay. Somewhere right here. Right. We're in the area. I just don't know. 70 meters this way. Okay, maybe it's not. We're back out of that area. Oh, it's below. Okay, we gotta go down below. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's what we're going for. Let's hurry and do this. I don't know if there's bad guys down here, so let's just get this quick. And see if we get another skill point. Come on, skill point. Okay. Yeah, definitely no skill point for it, so that's not a thing. Okay, we are going for the Eternal Spell next. You guys told me that that was one that we can get to help with some range stuff. So we can carry a staff on us and start doing a little bit of the magic stuff. Just a little bit. It says it's 100 meters that way. Like, really close. There it is. Okay. We're going right there. Back into the shroud. Let's do this. We'll have to get another food buff when we get down there. Can I eat while we're flying? No, you can't. <laughs> Eating while flying, not a thing. Okay. Okay. Kind of area we got here. It's a little quiet. Buried tomb entry. Going in. Okay. Let's get some torch action going. All the way down. You run into spiders in here. What do we got? Yep, there they are. <laughs> Level seven, we're fine. There you go. Okay. Have a little bit of spike action. It is very dark down here. Got it. Oh, we got a friend. Oh my god, come on, shoot. Okay. We are all shrouded up here. Can't see anything in there, hold on. Did I miss it somewhere? Oh, we gotta go up. Ah. There we go. I hear you. There we go. Nice. A couple little extra bad guys down here. Yep. Hold on. I like when they die, it's a nice little bright light. Here we go. Got another tomb. Eternal Ice Bolt. Boom. So that's the end of that quest. All right, let's make our way out of here. Okay, we're heading into another mission here. Let's go. It's right in front of us. We should have to be careful with all this lava here. Hopefully it's a mission that we can knock out pretty easily. 300 meters ahead. I think it's going to be down in the blue, but I can't tell. There's a bridge, so we're good. Can I fly right down here? All right, let's head in. Back into the shroud one more time. Not one more time. We're going to go in several more times, but one more time right now. At 100 meters. 60 meters right here somewhere. Oh, okay. We got a ring of rot. We're going to go take this out. Oh, there's bad guys. I see him. Let's get this first so we don't have to worry about the shroud. 
Level 11 it is. That guy might be coming over here. Just careful. Got a skill point. Should get one for this as well. There we go. That's who we're looking at right there. Nice. Another nice little one taken out. There you go. Come on. Take out those big scary looking things, whatever they are. What is that? Oh, just a big guy. Okay. Anything in this area that I need to be searching for? Oh, that's a big guy. What? Isn't that the, like the boss guy that we fought a long time ago? Down here just wandering around like it's nothing. Oh, ow. Got him. Take that. Right in your head. Come on. We're good? We're good. Search that guy. Yeah, Thunderbird. Okay. Nice. So now we know about that. That's awesome. There's just Thunderbrutes down here in the thing. Got him. Right. Take. Oh, I hear arrows flying at me. Ow! Got a big guy there. Got him. Where is your treasure? There's got to be treasure. Nothing. down. I'm not 100% sure that we can get to it, but right over here, there's a mission for the tanning station. Let's see if we can knock that one out. We're just going to go mission crazy today. We already took on the boss, so that was an awesome way to get started. Now I want to go see if we can find this tanning station. Can we jump off here, maybe? Oh man, we're going way down. I love how high up on that top mountaintop we were. It took forever to pickaxe up there, but it's been worth it. It's a great jumping off point. It leads to so many cool locations. Look at this. I like it. I like coming from above like this so we don't have to worry about climbing forever. <laughs> Here we go. Raven's Keep. Another location added. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Let's read that. Glory to Matron Lupa. Okay. Looks like we are going in. Not a good sign that there's dead things. Unless he jumped from above. Maybe he fell to, followed us down. Uh, what is that? In need of tanning station. Oh, just one of those big guys. Okay. Level 18. Okay. Okay, let him come on up. Okay, get him. There we go. We're getting a little better at this. The amount of arrows we go through, though, is rough because we're, we're going to end up needing to make more. Let's see the treasure box down there. Let's go get that. I was going to say, I don't know what kind of attack he does. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. We're almost out. Got it. And got it. Treasure or its longbow. Nice. I think that's an upgrade over what we have. Grab all the free stuff. Thank you. Definitely get anything we can here. Let me do a quick buff. I didn't even realize all of our buffs are gone. Get some of the good meat. Get some strawberry. Nice. That'll heal us up a little bit too. You can do a little bit of mining in here if we wanted to. Lupa's Scalper. 37 damage. Wow. There we go. I will reach you, Lupa. By your side, Kendall. New lore, the Scavengers. There's so much cool stuff in this. Uh... Yep, we can go through. Okay. Alright, we might be going in there for right now. Let's look up here. 
Yep. We almost fell in. Anything up here? There's some free supplies. And a little treasure chest. Light burst. Acid bite and prayer of the flame skull. I love all this good stuff. Okay. Looks like we're going further in. Oh, it says, obtain the tanning station from Lupa's lair. Okay, there's something that's glowing just a little green down there. What is that? Uh, we're going to shoot it from up here. Look how much resistance it has. Okay, what if we do this? A little bit better. What is that thing? Please don't be any more down there. I don't think we can take these guys on. Lots of lights. Okay. Little metal. That was all we got out of that. I don't think we can break that. Let's look for a switch. Okay, we need lights. Alright, let's do a quick search. Alright, there's a switch. There's a thing. There's no trap. We've got fancy stone block. Nice. Can I pick that up? No. Is that it down here? There's still that one. Is there another hidden switch anywhere? We are working our way towards some of these random little question marks around the map now. Oh, <laughs> there's a rat right there. I didn't even see him until last second. I don't know if I've ever checked this out. What is this? Yeah, I don't know if I've been up here. Uh, scavenger camp with mine shaft. Watch that guy. I might have been here before. I don't know. Okay. Got a couple friends over here. Come on, man. You didn't do very good there. Alright, cool. Get all that. Run over here, get this. Some free stuff. We'll do our food buffs in just a second. We actually have a bomb we can throw. Nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, we did do this one before. Although it gave me something else, it was just already open. That was weird. Okay, nothing else super important in here. Okay, let's keep going towards this question mark. Like I said, we're just going around trying to get rid of some of the little question marks, work on as many of the quests as we can, but some of the quests are in places that I can't quite get to yet, or they're down in the red shroud, which I haven't got inside of yet. I should see something right over here. I don't think I've been up this far. Maybe. Well, that's like the edge of the world. Isn't that, like, where I can't go anymore? Why is there a question mark here? No, it's just shroud. Okay. Just regular shroud. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and go food buff. And food buff. Let's go. Oh, there we go. There's a shroud root. Nice. Awesome. We'll definitely take out another one of these. Nobody attacking. This one's completely out of nowhere. Come on. There we go. Another skill point for that one. Perfect. Sweet. I don't see any bad guys in here. Just look around for a treasure real quick. Anything hidden back here? Okay, I don't know if I've been here. Flame Sanctum? I think I've found this one. Nope, there's something there. We haven't been here before. What do we got? Collect that. Collect that. My dearest Helen. Okay. These lovers sought refuge in the flame, but it warms them no longer. Offer its spark at the flame altar in your home. We're going to switch out these two weapons. I'm going to go ahead and scrap the old one. 76, not bad. That was a little bit of an improvement. We haven't upgraded it yet, so that'll be nice. We'll do that one. That's the thing in here. Okay. Let me head back home because we're completely full in our inventory. I need to go do a quick download of all the things and then I don't know if there's anything else over in this area we should look at 
we've done some good exploring over here now. We're kind of on the far bottom left of the map. Here we go. Quick check in at the home farm. We need to kind of see how this is going up here. It's starting to look pretty good. I mean, we don't didn't really add anything else, but we just have a ton of plants to pick, which is awesome. Plus, I kind of like how this game, when you run through the stuff, it actually moves. A lot of games don't do that, man. This game has so many just little things to it that make it one of my favorite games ever. But we'll pick all this in a minute. Let me go see what else we need to make from these guys. And then we'll try to go knock out like one more mission or maybe go take on another boss or something. We'll kind of see what we can do. But I was looking through what else we can add to make our comfort go up. Right now we're at 30 minutes rested. We have comfort level 25. Not doing too bad. We added a couple things in the last couple days like these things up here. Which we have inside here. Made a little bathroom. <laughs> Nothing special. Literally just threw this over here. Threw those things over here. Threw a chandelier up top for a little bit of lighting. That is it there. And then down. Oh, we also added this little stone bench. We added that little cauldron looking thing right there. The What do you call it? A brazier? A brazier? However you say it. We added one of those. And then down here we added another one of the benches. And I think that's it for right now. Let me do a quick look through all their inventories and see if there's anything else that we need to learn how to make or maybe start getting into with these guys. We did get that eternal spell. We could start messing with that one. I've never actually messed with any of their, any of the different staffs. I think I've actually broke all the staffs that we've gotten. Let me see if we have one in here. I've got, that's a summoning staff. That's not it. We got down here. No, just some random stuff. But it looks like we have a couple missions we can knock out here at the home base. Let's do those real quick. Just did a little bit of farming stuff. Worked on a little bit of inventory management. We still got a few things that we kind of need to sort out here, but we'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and talk to our buddy here. So he wants us to make a staff, resource, magical weapons, spiritual cane. We can make that one. Looks like we have everything for that. Boom. We got that one. Quest completed. Nice. And now we have an extra staff. Where did it go? Uh, here we go. I've actually not messed with any of these. Spiritual cane, it's not even, I don't even think it's that good in general, but we'll kind of test that out. What else do we have from him? Is there any other missions that we can do that are just right here? We've got Oswald Chest, Time for Harvest, Bruised Curse. Oh, that one looks awesome. Diadin and its building blocks, that's really cool. A test of skill. Yeah, we got a lot of things. Hunting grounds. Interesting. I wonder where that's at. Okay, so we knocked out that mission. I think that's it. We're going to have to actually go up to the spire up here. I don't show you guys the map a lot. I would love to show you guys where we're going, but as soon as I do this, we get a little bit of encoding error, especially if I move around on the map very much. It's not so bad here where we don't have much on the map, but as soon as I move up here, it gets a little glitchy and a little encody, encody, encoder struggling. Maybe if we stay zoomed in, we can get this done. We go way up here. Go to this other spire, maybe. Artifact of the Farmer. Here we go. If we go up here, so it looks like it didn't do it. If I stay zoomed in, it will be good. Let's go up to the Rebelwood. We're going to go up there. There's a couple missions kind of near there we might be able to knock out unless they're down in the Red Shroud. Let's try this, man. We'll get a couple missions done. We'll see what we can do today. Hopefully this works out. So the first mission that's kind of close is the building block one right here. There we go. It is very close to here. 214 meters. Let's go. I just don't know if it's before or after this little thing. Land here and kind of see. Okay, a little bit further. Wouldn't mind grabbing a little bit of extra flax. We actually have a decent amount of flax going on the farm back there, but it would be bad to grab just a little bit more. Getting close. Here it is. Have I been here? I don't think I've been to this place. Diadwin. Okay. Now, eventually what we're going to do is I'm actually going to find a place to build in a town. That's what I would like to do. So we're going to eventually just put our, our little flame altar in the middle of something like this, like a nice little town that we could build up and use for our own. Like, nothing crazy. I don't want one of like, the giant cities, but I think it would be a lot of fun to check out some of these other ones. Let's check out the new weapon. I didn't upgrade it yet, but I wanted to test it out on some of our friends out here. So these are level 13. Oh, man, I didn't know he could do that. Okay. Okay, watch out. Swing, swing, swing. Also, I don't have my buffs going. What am I doing? Hold on. Sorry. Okay, quickly get buffed up. There you go. All of the buffs. And actually, we can just, since we're up here, <laughs> just do it this way. Sit there and take it. Perfect. I would love if we had a little bit more powerful wand. There you go. 
Okay. Oh, my bad. Okay, get all three of these. Got that. Got it. Got it. We're getting to the point where we have a, quite a few different building blocks too, which is awesome. Oh, we got rats. There we go. I don't think that we can actually reach it. Okay, let's read this and see if we can find the stuff here. All right. New lore scavengers. Oh, we got a friend. Hold on. I heard you coming. Okay, is there a cave going down or something? All right, let's search everything. Break everything. It actually said location below, but I, I assume it just means... Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. There we go. Half timber block. Oh, that's the one we've been looking for. That one looks epic. We'll definitely use that one. Go ahead and break all these down. The next one that's right next to here is Oswald Anders' chest. There we go. Carpentry camp. We got a rat coming. Got him. All right, let's check out the little carpentry camp real quick. Hardwood. Nice. I don't know what's in his chest over here, but we'll see what's up. There we go. Wisp of light. That's not what we're looking for. Come on. Let me get those. Got it. Oh, no. Not that. Okay, is there not like a find the lost equipment chest? Reach his former camp and unearth the equipment. So it must be underground. So under the rubble, I guess. That's my only guess. Ah, yeah, there we go. That was it. Perfect. Open that. Shepherd's lighting. Nice. Okay, there's another mission done. Awesome. Rolling through missions today. Okay, we're not too far from the next one. This will be the last one we we'll probably get done in this video. This is the Crucibles. We're going for the Crucible. Or is it not Anders? Uh, I don't even know what his name is. But for the Smelter, we need to get this. Let's hit up all these little camps. Just make sure we hit these. Anything good in here? I don't know if it's worth it to even do this. But let's do it. it scared the crap out of me. I know they're not aggressive. But he felt a little aggressive for a quick second there. Make our way up the hill, see if we can find this. I think there's one other mission out here in this area. We might do a double. But if we can get to this one, we'll check this out and then go from there. It's letting us go all the way up this hill, so this might be good. Turn a meter straight up that way. Nice little windy road. Should we stop here real quick? Oh, yep. A couple of friends. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready. Okay. I don't know what level they are. They are 13. Oh, and there's a bunch. Okay. Never mind. Whoa. Okay, go, 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 dude, go. Oh, he is following us all the way up. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, we can take these guys. It's just going to take a few few rounds here. Got two of them done. All right. There's treasure back there, so we got to do it, right? I hear you. Oh, I'm out of stam. Okay, no, watch out. Wanted to jump up there. There you go. I don't know if he can get us. Oh, stop wasting. Got it. Now we got one more. Fighting up close is not the way we want to do this. Oh, get that. Sweet. Okay, where is he at? There he is. See how much damage it takes? It's just too much. We're way stronger with the bow. That's where all of our points are. We've got to do it. Okay, anything up top? Or was that it? I think we can go up here. We got the first little treasure. 
Oh. Nice. Sweet. Free stuff. Thank you. Alright, let's see if we can make our way on top of these things. There might not be anything up here, but there might be. Okay, back up the trail. Let's go. Let's see where this takes us today. Uh oh. Oh, I remember this one. Okay. Last time I came through here, we had to hide from all that stuff. We might try this, but I don't know. Let's sneak into here. Mark of Samoth. Definitely wouldn't be totally bad to get a little bit of this free stuff here. Uh, I think we hit an explosive or something. Got him. They're just high enough level that they stress me out, but not too bad. I don't know if it's worth doing this because we don't get very much out of it. I don't know if maybe later when we get a better weapon, it'd be worth it. But one copper ore for like 50 swings is not really, not really worth it. Okay, let's do some hopping and jumping. That looks like red shroud. No, it's just a light. Okay, 40 meters. Okay, above, below, where are we at? I'm gonna guess below. Oh, watch out! <laughs> I was hoping that would kill him, it did not. Alright, sweet. Couple good things there. There's the enemy. What's up, guys? What is he doing? Come on back. Where did he go? I think he fell off. There he is, there he is. Yep. Okay, everything's fine. Gonna do his little swings. Okay, just keep running. <laughs> We're rolling. Are we back in the same spot? Okay. <laughs> Stand back up. Got it. Yeah, we're having to run a lot, but at least we're getting some good metal scraps out of these guys. Otherwise, this is a waste. Got it? Okay, so this is 80 meters this way. Is this where I just went through? Oh, dang it. We got a friend up here. Got a couple friends. Got him. Are we really out of ammo completely? I am. Alright, we're out of ammo and the only thing we're good at is range, so this should be interesting. Okay, going in. Going up. Here we go. Oh, it's a, a thing to repair equipment. Nice. There you go, we have dug too far. Was that it? No, retrieve the crucible. Maybe here. Wolf's Maw. It's right here somewhere. It says it's like right here. Oh. Okay, it says it's here. Do we have to dig? Okay, we have this. Let's go over here. This is right behind the... Where we found the little smithy and we found that first box. Behind here, there's something. Oh, right here. Is this literally it? There it was. It was right next to us the whole time. I was over there blasting through a wall for no reason. That was absolutely silly. Okay. Cool. 
We got that. Oh, actually, it says, does it say I can pick that up? Quick travel home. We'll see if we can actually make the crucible now. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see how this works. Talk to our buddy over here. What's up, man? Yeah, we got fire. another one done. Craft a smelter. We found my crucible. Yes, we did. Okay. Let's see about crafting a smelter. Crucible. I need sand, lump of clay. I actually do have clay. I don't know if I have sand, though. Using a smelter to create alloys. Okay. We'll have to see about that. Then we got... Oh, the smelter up here. There we go. I need bricks, which I think I can make in the forge. And I do finally have some clay. Where's my forge? Do I not... How do I throw a forge down? There it is. We've got the forge. And inside here... No. Maybe it's in here? Select recipe. No. Okay. I officially don't know where to make it unless he can make it. Do you make bricks? Where do I make bricks? Dishes, grappling hook. Oh, those are actually missions too. So we need to get some metal sheets actually made up. We've been kind of procrastinating on that. I don't want to do any of your stuff here. Pickaxe, felling axe, lockpick, nails, kiln, forge. Okay, I need to find our lump of clay. We got to make the kiln with that guy. I thought this was the kiln. What is this thing? This is the charcoal kiln. We need a regular kiln. So I need lump of clay, which I know I have somewhere. One of these here. Lump of clay. We definitely got some recently. Here we go. Lump of clay. Talk to this guy. He's actually got a mission to finish. My half-timbered blocks. You found my half-timbered blocks. Nice. We'll definitely make something cool with those. Let's go ahead and craft. We can make the kiln now. Boom. Okay. Go and then we speed. can throw the kiln. Where's the kiln? There it is. Throw this guy. Anywhere random. Perfect. Looks good. Okay. Inside the kiln, we put the clay and wood logs. And then that, every 30 seconds, will make one fired brick. We need like 50 of those. So let's get a whole bunch more wood. Grab all of that clay. We just randomly happened to gather that the other day, so that's awesome. Grab that, throw both those in there. Okay. Uh, more wood logs. And that'll give us 84 when that's done. It's going to take quite a bit before it's done, though. Okay, cool. So that's going. Once that's done, we can actually make the... We already have the crucible. We need to make the smelter. So we need 50 fired bricks. We can make the smelter. And then we can make alloy metals. Okay, cool. That was a lot done today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's been a little hard because we can't show you guys the map when we're going around. So hopefully you guys can still kind of tell where we're at when we're cruising around doing these things. But it just kind of messes up when we open the map. So we'll have to see if we can get that fixed up. I'll see if there's anything that I can do to kind of improve that. In terms of quests, we're down to 10 active quests now, which isn't too bad. A couple of these are really hard to get to. Once we get the smelter, that one will be done. What else do we have? Need of a tanning station. That one's going to be a little bit further away. The fire one, I think I can actually get to. That's not that far away from where we're at right now. Just kind of follow that up there. But all right, guys, we'll work on the next one. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Later.